All right, it's been a little while, two weeks. We're here to pick up our annual passes to somewhere I haven't been in about 11 years. It's been a long time. If you can't tell by the car alarms, we're at a theme park. <laughs> SeaWorld Orlando. It's about the storm. Let's go uh, see some dolphins and stuff. So far, it's not too crazy. A little bit of rain. It'll pass over. Whoa, can meet the one and only Guy Harvey. I wonder if, ooh, ooh, lightning. I don't know about Guy Harvey today, but it's cool that he's here. So I haven't been here in so long that apparently they don't do physical annual pass cards anymore. It's just all on your phone. I guess that shows my age right there, but uh, yeah, the more you know. We came down here basically for nothing, I guess, but nonetheless, it's fun. Look at the radar, not too much, so I'm gonna sit this out and uh, see where we end up. All right, rain slowly calming down. Lots of bubbles in the air right now, so must be happy rain. <laughs> Escape the crazy hallway of children from hell in a gift shop. Let's check out these lounge flies they got. Definitely love the penguin. See what um, that one's cool too. That feels so good. Oh, so good. These guys are having a Baja blast. It's definitely way too crowded. It needs to go back to raining. Think of Disney as like a Whole Foods market in the nicest town you can think of. Think of SeaWorld as a Walmart in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> That's the difference between the parks that I've noticed after not coming here in over 10 years. There's a dead body. Oh, a buddy rabbit right Aww. there. Let me zoom in on him. There he is. But even when you're in a sketchy Walmart, there's always at least some area there that's safe. So let's go on the Shark Encounter. Maybe it'll redeem my opinion of SeaWorld again. Wonderful dinosaurs. Wonderful birds. There were sharks. Like I said in the previous clip. <laughs> Looks like SeaWorld does pin trading too. Again, I haven't been here in 11 years, so if you're watching this and you're like, well, Kyle, they've been doing pin trading since blah, blah, blah. And I haven't been here, so shut up. <laughs> this is all new to me. Does anybody remember in this theater right here? There used to be, uh, used to be a little show kind of like Cirque du Soleil in there. A long time ago, it's probably the early 2000s, 1990s. Does anyone else remember that? It was like SeaWorld's version of Cirque du Soleil. Good times. I never thought I would be alive for the day when I would say that Walt Disney World is cheaper than SeaWorld. Almost $8 for one of those uh, body armor drinks. You know how much a Modelo special was? Basically 12 bucks. I think a Bud Light at Disney World is 10 bucks. Here it's like 12.49. Goddamn, son. Let's see if some mime entertainment, some sea lions will save the day here. Too bad it's in a third world park 
where people just put their trash in the enclosures. I ended up going for a pina colada and strawberry daiquiri mix called the Orlando Vice. Water. Ice water. <laughs> Someone's still not feeling good. We'll come back here again because today's kind of been shot in the rain and the crowds and the horrible crowds. <laughs> but alcohol is definitely improving the mood and the AC and the shop with no one in it is definitely also improving the mood. And I see plushies over there that someone doesn't know about yet. But on the way to the other gift shop, they got some old retro style merch. Straight to it. Crazy that Disney is cheaper. I know they want you to buy like the lanyard where you can get 15 things for 80 bucks. But if you were just going to get like one item, it's like the average is 12 or $13 per entree, which is still really tiny. In Epcot, the majority of the entrees are under $10. I don't know, it's just crazy. Heading out, discover that Smart Water is $6.70. Shamu just bent me over already, goddamn. On the way out, we had to see dolphins, you know? SeaWorld. <laughs> Maybe today wasn't a good experience, because I have a lot of things I could complain about to guest services, but it's not the same as Disney, I'll tell you that. They need to raise the prices. That is my opinion. <laughs> the, the clientele here is basically like going to Six Flags if Six Flags and Magical Midway had a baby. At least the rain stopped. Beautiful weather to leave the park in. <laughs> While we're on the subject of complaints, does anybody remember the old waterfront here when it was a wave pool? They had a bunch of waves, a little bit more rocks. They had, uh, they had the sea lions, which they have over there, but there were orcas placed in the water. Does anybody else remember those? It's the golden age. One more magical midway thing that I can't stand is this in the middle of the pathway. Like, what's that about? I swear the next video will be better. This one is just, Jesus Christ. This is so like, whoever's idea it was to do it like this. It's just trashy. God bless you, Disney. You're doing it right. What the hell happened to SeaWorld in the past 10 years? Like I said, if you live in Florida and you've been to Six Flags, out of state obviously, but just imagine that Six Flags and Magical Midway got drunk and they procreated and SeaWorld is their baby. Cause that's the clientele that you have in SeaWorld now. Yeah, I got passes, but I think we're definitely gonna still be going to Disney way, way more often. Today was definitely a, it was shot. Sorry, the video is so short and probably not entertaining. It's just a bunch of hate speech <laughs> against SeaWorld. But just the overall clientele and just everything is just, I don't know. But yeah, if you watch the whole video, God bless you, because I know it sucked. <laughs> but I promise the next one will be more entertaining. See ya.